Listen, this is the heartbeat of Cyprus. Trudos, the largest and highest mountain range of Cyprus. A mountain range that counts 92 million years of life and creation. A unique case in the science of global geology. Scientists from all over the world visit Cyprus to study the geology of the Trudos mountain range. Ascending to the top of the mountain range, Geologists actually descend up to 60 kilometers deep from the bottom of the oceans to study the rocks of the Earth's upper crust. In the bowels of Trudos lie chrysotile asbestos and chromite, minerals that were widely exploited until the first half of the previous century. This came with a heavy price though. The environment at the mine locations was severely harmed, whilst many workers presented health problems. Today, the environment at the Aniandos mine is reviving after it was closed down in the late 80s. That's due to the systematic restoration efforts by the forestry department. The central part of the Trudos mountain range was designated as a national forest park in 1992, according to the forest law, and is the largest national forest park in Cyprus. In 2004, it was included in the European Network of Protected Areas, Natura 2000, both as a special protection area based on the Wild Bird European Directive, as well as a site of community interest based on the Habitat Directive. At the same time, it is the heart of the Trudos Geopark, which belongs to the UNESCO Global Geoparks Network. The Trudos National Forest Park is one of the largest natural resorts of Cyprus and offers a whole range of ecosystemic services. The park offers 13 provision services 12 regulating and maintenance services and 11 cultural services. These services are all equally important for the health and well-being of the people. The Trudos National Forest Park hosts ecosystems of unique value and beauty since it is a refuge for a large number of fauna. 18 species of mammals over 120 species of birds, 17 species of reptiles, and hundreds of species of insects. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, includes Cyprus amongst the most important spots of the planet for the conservation of biodiversity. Additionally, according to BirdLife International, the Trudos National Forest Park is one of the global hotspots for the conservation of wild birds. Trudos is the only place on the island where the rare bird red crossbill can be found and one of the most important places for the endemic tree creeper. The area is an important habitat for the endemic species pied wheat ear, warbler and scops owl, as well as for the endemic subspecies coltit and magpie. Here one can also encounter some rare and endangered species, such as the vulture, Bonelli's eagle and the northern goshawk. The endemic Cypriot snake also has its habitat in Trudos and is included in the protected reptile species of the area. The lizard of Trudos, an endemic species widely spread on the island, is named after the mountain range. During recent years, a steady population of the endemic mouflon finds refuge on the most steep spots of the park. The building structures, the deserted mine shafts, 
as well as the hollowed out trunks of big trees, are refuge for 15 of the 19 species of Chiroptera found on the island. The rich fauna of the area is enjoyed by numerous insects, some of which are very rare or endemic, such as the Anastragalia montana. All the endemic butterfly species and subspecies can be found at the National Forest Park. Here we can also find Euplagia quadripunctaria, better known as the Rhodes butterfly. In the rivers of Trudos lives the sweetwater crab, the population of which has started to rebound in recent years. The Trudos National Forest Park hosts 40% of the flora of Cyprus and 51% of the endemic plants of the island. Ten of them are local endemics. In other words, they grow only within the limits of the Trudos National Forest Park and nowhere else in the world. Plants that thrive only here weave a colorful cloak for Trudos and have got their names from the mountain range, such as the Nepeta Trudi and the Trudos Allison. The park is home to 33 endangered plant species, which are included in the Red Book of Cyprus flora. They represent almost 14% of the endangered plants of the island. The park is also home to five of the 18 species included in Annex 2 of the EU Habitat Directive. Two of the strictly protected sites of the Trudos National Forest Park Almiro Livado and Livadi du Pasha are home to the Trudos peatlands, a globally unique habitat. The national tree of Cyprus, the endemic golden oak, is limited to the igneous rocks of the mountain range, from 600 meters and above, up to 1,850 meters high, on steep and smooth slopes. The natural forests of Cyprus are home to centuries-old trees of great ecological, scientific and cultural value. They are thus protected by the Forestry Department as natural monuments. The unsung heroes of the forest, the fungi, help with the survival of the trees. They contribute to the recycling of organic matter and to the productivity of the ecosystems. The Forestry Department, within the framework of protecting and highlighting the botanical heritage of the island, has gathered over 250 species of plants and trees into the Trudos Botanical Garden, situated near the Amiantos Mine. In the same area, a sperm bank was created, where valuable genetic material is stored, not only of Trudos plants, but of the whole island. Here, seasons change, and it's no secret. White winters, snow fights and skiing, with blue or white skies, all days are perfect for winter sports. The Gionistra, dressed in white, welcomes skiers of all levels. On the slopes, one can do cross-country or slide down with a snowboard or a sleigh. Fireplaces roar. Hospitable taverns in nearby traditional communities open their doors to visitors. Local dishes, Sausages, Hiromeri, Zivania, wine. Smells and colors of the earth. Spring, the snow melts and feeds the brooks, which will water the fertile but thirsty plains all year long. Hikers explore nature trails, filling their lungs with the fresh air. Nature exploring from Carunas to Platras and Prodromos, as well as in many other areas of the Trudos National Forest Park, can also be done by bicycle on the designated bicycle routes. 
Following the Krios riverbank, which flows constantly, on one of the many nature trails created by the forestry department, while avoiding naked roots and other obstacles, hikers arrive through a thick forest at the Caledonia waterfall. The waterfalls of Trudos were formed after complex geological processes in the depths of time. The highest waterfall of Trudos is Milomeris in Platras. The water falls from 15 meters high. The magical scenery of the waterfall attracts hikers who arrive here following the Milomeris nature trail. The nights in Trudos are cool and the Milky Way can be easily spotted. Organized camping and picnic sites inside the Trudos National Forest Park welcome locals and tourists for relaxing times in nature. Besides the tourists, the many beauties of Trudos attract the immigrants of the mountain communities who return home during the summer months, thus reviving their villages. The communities of Trudos are trying to keep their traditions and values alive despite their depopulation due to urbanization and migration. The main activity of the inhabitants of the wider region is agriculture. They cultivate a wide range of vegetables and trees, such as cherry, pear, peach, plum and apple tree, producing fruit of excellent quality. On the outskirts of the Trudos National Forest Park, traditional vineyards flourish, famous for the quality of the wine they produce. Many villages around the park celebrate the grape harvest with festivals, where local drinks and food are produced and offered on the spot. Wine, zivania, traditional sweets, fresh fruit, aromatic and healing herbs, honey are only a few of the unique products of the Trudos communities. Brownstone settlements blend harmonically with the natural landscape, presenting interesting architecture in the villages of the mountain range. Narrow cobblestone alleys gardens and yards are full of surprises. In the mountain range, the largest part of the Byzantine tradition of Cyprus is gathered, with 10 churches protected as UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The church of Ayos Nikolaos de Stegis in Kakopetria is a typical example, since its wooden roof with the traditional hook tiles is an element of the architectural type which can be found only in Trudos. The interior of the church is decorated with impressive frescoes dating from the 11th to the 17th century. Autumn in Trudos is golden. Heavy clouds touch the tops of the mountain range, signaling the beginning of the perpetual water cycle. Blessed beneficial rainfall. Trudos is the main source of water in Cyprus. Trudos is the cleanest lung of the island and monitors the climatic conditions. However, human activity, fires and excessive exploitation of the forest in the past have severely burdened it. The forestry department, through the Trudos Forest Station based in Pladania, administrates the Trudos National Forest Park. Five manned forest stations and four fire lookout stations or observation spots are responsible for the protection and the management of the area. Through the efforts of the forestry department, the illegal and excessive exploitation of the forest resources is significantly reduced. However, fires remain a constant threat due to human imprudence, rural depopulation, and drought. 
To best protect the species and community interests of the area, a number of projects have been implemented in recent years, co-funded by the European Union, with the aim of enabling the best possible management. One of them is the iLife Trudos project. Within the project's framework, a targeted information and public awareness campaign has been implemented concerning the natural values and the ecosystemic services of the Trudos National Forest Park, utilizing a plethora of public media. Within the same framework, two visitors' information points were installed, one at the Platania picnic site and one at Trudos Square, with informational boards and applications for smart devices. It's everyone's duty to preserve the Trudos National Forest Park, since it is one of the most important regions in the Mediterranean Basin as regards biodiversity, as well as a unique place in every aspect. Geological, ecological, historical and cultural. Trudos. It's in our nature.